Hi guys, so Lord Frost, the former Brexit minister, gave an interview to the press outside his home. The number of interviews he's given in this style can be counted probably on one hand. I find it strange that a man so pivotal to Britain's future never sat down with James O'Brien from LBC or Kate Burley from Sky News or Andrew Marr of the BBC and faced a real grilling. Why is that? Why is he exempt when, for example, the Justice Secretary or the Health Secretary are not? Anyway, he gave his reasons for why he left the post. Of course, nothing to do with Brexit, but the motivations he does give are extremely suspect. Let's hear what Lord Frost had to say. I have huge admiration for what he's done as a leader, taken us out of the EU, won the election, set the country on a new path. Uh, I, we have never disagreed in any way about Brexit policy. Uh, right up to the last day, we've been absolutely aligned on that, and Liz Truss and Chris Heaton Harris, I'm sure, are going to do a great job. I left the government because, as I think is well known, I couldn't support certain policies, most recently on the COVID restrictions and Plan B. And if you're a minister, you have to support collective responsibility, you have to support decisions of the government, and I couldn't, so that's why I had to leave. <laughs> I don't believe a word of this. Because why is he the only one resigning? He, he wasn't responsible for these measures. He wasn't the health secretary. He wasn't the, uh, the justice minister. He wasn't the chancellor. He had no influence over this. He was the Brexit minister. And he's saying he's resigning because of these measures that Boris Johnson have put, has put in place. Like... Even the more extreme people within the party, the, the Steve Bakers or the uh, Desmond Swains or the Wish.com version of Boris Johnson, these people have not resigned their seat. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you imagine somebody who was deeply concerned about the, the way the government were acting would have resigned in protest? But these people have not. But Lord Frost is resigning and he wants us to believe that it is nothing to do with Brexit. Now, I believe the reason he resigned was because Boris Johnson was using him as a pawn. And I think he felt that, look, if Boris Johnson goes down, he's, you know, Boris Johnson's days are numbered. If Boris Johnson is forced to resign, I'm going to have to go with him. And I'm going to ruin my reputation as well. And he also knows that Brexit is, is not getting better. Brexit is getting worse. And his reputation as a Brexiteer is, t is tarnished because he's been threatening to trigger Article 16 for months now. He's uh, said that the role of the ECJ in Northern Ireland is untenable and he's compromised on that. So he's a spent force. He's nothing left. And he realised that Boris Johnson has been using him. Have you given up? on the Prime Minister. Uh, do you think he's lost his direction? Is, is it time for him to go, in your view? This is absolutely not about leadership. This is about policy differences. I'm absolutely confident this country's got a great future under Boris Johnson's leadership if we can get the policies right. So he's the right man to, to carry on. I mean, it's, it's in a state of chaos. And your departure actually seems to be at a time when it's going to cause maximum damage to him. So the departure was intended to be in the new year and has come out earlier than we thought. The departure is about policy. It's about policy differences. And I'm absolutely confident that uh, he's the right man to take the country forward. How can you say he's the right man to take the country forward and then you resign? That doesn't make any sense. You would say, no, he's not the right person to take the country forward. That's why I'm resigning. Like Desmond Swain and uh, Steve Baker they don't think that Boris Johnson is going in the right direction, but they haven't resigned. It makes no sense. Obviously, it's a Brexit problem. Now, we don't know the full details until he writes a book or something. But at the moment, I believe it's because of Brexit. Things are going to get worse and he doesn't want the blame and he wants somebody else to take the blame. Probably Liz Truss. If he pursues these policies, including perhaps further restrictions that might be coming this week, in your view, will more of your cabinet colleagues follow you out of cabinet by resigning? So I can't speak for anybody else. I can only say what I think, which is that I don't support coercive policies on COVID. The Prime Minister's got some very difficult decisions to take, and uh, I'm sure he'll be thinking very hard of them. Thanks very much. Look, he supported ending freedom of movement. 
So he can't come out and say, I'm against these, uh, these types of policies that take away people's freedoms. At the end of the day, it was about Brexit. He uh, was put in charge in order to solve a massive problem. He's not capable of doing that. He has compromised uh, when it came to dealing with the European Union. He was not cut out for this job. He was put in this place because he served a purpose for Boris Johnson. And now that Boris Johnson wants to offload responsibility of Brexit onto others, and he's found Liz Truss to do that, um, Frost is washing his hands of the whole situation. But don't worry, he will write a book sometime soon about how he was the saviour of Brexit and how Boris Johnson probably threw him under a bus. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.